It's because of those rising numbers, Jamie, that Baltimore County students and teachers will have to wear masks on the sidelines when it comes to sports this fall. It is part of the county's new universal masking plan that shared today. WMER 2 News' Abby Isaacs joins us to explain what Baltimore County families should know ahead of the start of the school year. School officials predict Baltimore County will be orange, which means substantial COVID-19 transmission by the middle of this month. So they're requiring masks regardless of vaccination status for the fall. Days after announcing universal masking in schools, the Baltimore County Board of Education held a special virtual meeting Tuesday morning to go over what the requirement means. The last thing we want to do is close school um, because we want to push more in-person learning um, as we open up our school year. School officials told board members that masking will help keep students in the classroom because with masks and three feet of social distancing, no quarantine will be required, even if a classmate tests positive. That's been an important factor that we've considered in terms of minimizing the number of students who are exposed and at risk of catching COVID, but also required to miss school because of a, of a positive classmate. Masks will not be required for students who are on the field participating in sports, but will be required for everyone on the sidelines. And we're looking at other ways to um, strengthen strengthen screening, honestly, for our indoor sports so that we have less risk of those sports being interrupted and of transmission. In addition to masking, there will be strict contact tracing and daily building cleanings. BCPS is also exploring how to track staff vaccinations and in the meantime, working to get screening test kits from state and federal partners to offer to unvaccinated staff. We would be asking them to um, to test themselves each Sunday or Monday morning. Um, and so that uh, program would be voluntary. School officials say they want the county to be blue, meaning low transmission levels in order to stop universal masking. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Abby Isaacs.